we are going to hit the road. I have to go to an appointment at the Global Entry Place at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago um, to try to get, uh, I've applied for Global Entry, which just basically means you can skip the giant line at customs when you come back into the country and you can just go to these little kiosk things. My husband already has it because he travels internationally a lot. And when we came back from France <clears throat> um, just this past summer, he stood in that giant like two hour line with me bless his heart, because um, I had to only go in that way. So I thought, you know what, I'll apply for global entry for whatever next time there is that I get to go overseas. So um, my appointment has come and it's today. And so that's what we're doing. And we're headed there now. So yeah, let's go. Oh, look, there's my pumpkin. That pumpkin is still with us. It has been with us since fall of 2019. It's a real pumpkin. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know, but there it is. It's still with us. <laughs> Let's go. So I finished that. Um, I got fingerprinted and they took a photo. And so hopefully in three to four weeks, as long as my fingerprints come back without any horribleness, which they should, <laughs> um, I should be fine. I will get my card in three to four weeks and be able to jump through coming home back from the country, you know, to the country from other countries faster. That's the plan. So anyway, that worked. Now I'm on my way home. back from that which was good to get that done and hopefully it'll all work out and I will get my global entry thing in a couple three four weeks so that's I'm glad that's finished I was waiting for that for quite a while but um, now I'm changed I'm getting ready to go to um, strength training and I don't know you know how long you've been with me but I did strength training back in 2019 and loved it it was absolutely great um, then I ended up having this weird neck issue thing with my cervical spine thing, right? the atlas of my cervical spine, anyway. So then I had to stop doing the strength training and then go on to um, try to fix that problem. And then was COVID and everything, so I didn't wanna go to strength training at the time when that first started in 2020. So I stopped the strength training for a while and I fixed my neck. That's another whole story if anybody's interested in that one, but um, uh, it was a chiropractic technique called NUCA which is different and it's odd, but anyway, it worked for me. It's worked beautifully for me. So anyway, whatever, right? So I did that and now I am back to strength training. So if that makes any sense at all, and I'm happy to be back to it. It's just, it's good. I like, I like this specific way they do it here at this place. It's different also. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll try to describe it too if anyone's interested, but yeah, there's that. So I'm getting ready to go do that. And then I need to run to drop off some bags of things at Goodwill, um, the donation place. And then I need to mail a few things at the post office. So I'm gonna be going there. And then I think I need to either need to either hit the grocery store for a few items or maybe even run to Costco if I, if I feel like I want to do that at that point in time. So those are the things that are going to be happening here in the next uh, 30 minutes or so. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I'm up here in my very messy office and going to go through some emails and do some things. Today's my mom's birthday. She would have been 85 today. So happy birthday to my mom. Um, yeah, so yeah, there's that too. Just got to strength training and right before I left the house, I checked my emails on my phone and I found out that I've been approved already for global entry, which is so fantastic. And it does mention on there that I also have TSA pre-check, which I already had, so I, mean, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I've already been approved. I mean, gosh, they have they approved me before my, you know, fingerprints could hardly even <laughs> register. But no, they checked it all out and no, I'm, I'm not a terrorist. So it's a good thing. Anyway, uh, now we just need for, um, travel to open up enough and for safety and for health. So once that all happens, I plan to 
just go all sorts of places because I am excited to travel again. That will just be great. So anyway, there's that. Yeah. 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 I've been approved. So I got to go in to do my strength training and be back here for running around and doing some errands. So let's go do that. I just finished that. Um, I love it because basically at this place, it's different than going to a gym and just doing strength training in that, um, I mean, I guess if you had a personal trainer at a gym, maybe it would be, you know, it'd be like this, but you go in, it's close to home for me, you know, close enough anyway. And you go in and someone's you got all your machines in a line, all set to your seating preference and your um, weight preference and all that stuff. And it's just great. So you go in, you do six reps really slow. So it's not just, you know, pumping out a bunch of reps. It's just six reps of each machine really slow, 10 seconds up, 10 seconds down, that kind of thing. And sometimes they put in multipliers, making it a little more difficult or whatever. And there's a person there with you the whole time, encouraging you and, you know, telling you what maybe you get to change a position of your elbows or whatever. It's great. So you do all these eight machines and you're out. I'm in and out of there in 25 minutes. It's unbelievable and I don't even sweat. So, but I get a lot of results. So it's really, really amazing. And each time you can see that you're up four pounds on this one or you're up four pounds on that one and you see the progression and it's pretty fast. Anyway, I love it. It's great. I really, really love it. Also, um, bought a total gym, which is one of those one machine things. And it has like this, um, these other attachments or whatever because I've been wanting to get a Pilates reformer for my home and I don't want to plunk down that much money for the studio reformer that I always did at Pilates and loved so I thought well maybe if I try the Pilates the total gym with the Pilates attachments maybe it'll be good enough you know so anyway it came in the mail yesterday you know it was dropped off, the front, off at the front porch so I have to try to somehow get it upstairs and it came fully assembled pretty much except for the attachments um so I'm going to try to get that going and see if see if I like it enough. I've got like 30 days to figure out if it's worth it or not. Um, before, you know, I can send it, I can get it, give it back or whatever. Um, and in that case, I will then probably put that money that I spent on it toward a reformer most likely. So, cause this is something I realize I'm going to have to do for life. I'm going to have to continue to some sort of exercise for my muscles and my core and stuff just to keep me in a decent place, you know, forever. So I just feel like it would end up being worth the money to if I already know I like an, an exercise or, you know, a specific thing, then may as well just, uh, you know, do it that way instead of constantly going to a membership and you know what I mean. So anyway, that's my plan off to Goodwill. I have like three or four, I think three bags of clothing that I want to drop off at Goodwill, then the post office or maybe the grocery store before the post office. I don't even know, but here we go. It's 16 degrees. Oh my gosh, I'm freezing and this is as warm as it's going to be today. Got three pretty big bags of things. I'm that person that you see running around the grocery store in the workout clothes. That's me. Oh my God, it's almost Valentine's Day. did that um i just need to run to the post office real quick mail a few things check my p.o box and then head home with the groceries
I got two letters. I absolutely love it when I get a letter or a card or something in my P.O. box. Wow, look at the giant mess that I am. Um, yeah, hair falling down, I'm like, uh, whatever. Anyway, we are finished with the running around. I'm just gonna go home and unload the groceries. I don't know if you're interested in what, what I got. I don't know, should I do a haul? Some people absolutely love it. Others probably skip right over it. Um, I kind of like to know what other people get. I don't know. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. I will quickly unload it and show you what I got. And yeah, that'll probably be it. So let's go home. Okay, just unloaded the car, have the groceries here. I'll show you what I got and it's not very exciting, but here we go. Box of Raisin Bran because yeah. And some of this, I really like the uh, blueberry one. And then I also got some of this Just Blueberry. It's unsweetened blueberry juice basically that I add to sparkling water that has lemon in it. It's so good. Um, hair clips because I have hair clips all over the house for when I want to clip my hair up. Some probiotics. I like the true biotics. We have two things of shredded cheddar, which I should just shred it from a block, but sometimes I don't. Um, and medium cheddar slices. These are so good to stir fry as a veggie with any meal. So I grabbed one of these. I got some tomatoes and some shredded chicken and some romaine lettuce, avocado, Breaded carrots, gorgonzola crumbles, um, shaved parm, uh, two apples. What are they? The I don't remember what they're called. I should say on here the kind that I like. Honey crisp, I believe. Yes. And I got some um, raspberries, and we have some leftover cheese stuff to use these with. Really good. I already said that. Let's see. Oh, this is good. It's from the, the Cheesecake Factory makes the bread. Their brown bread is so good. So I thought I'd grab that. Um, these are really, really good. Uh, the aged white cheddar. It's 47 calories per cup. Gluten-free. Can't beat it. And they were on sale for $1.99. Love it. A gallon of milk. Some burger buns because I'm going to make um, smash burgers. I'm going to make smash burgers with the Wahlberg Angus burger meat. I really like their um, mix of meats. It's so good. So I'm just going to take those and do smash burgers with them. And some eggs, Italian seasoning, some ranch dressing. I got some chili garlic sauce. I'm going to show you what I do with that sometime soon, I hope. And um, strawberry preserves, soy sauce, and some bananas. There you go. I'll put all this stuff away and then I'm going to try to talk my husband into helping me drag that total gym thing upstairs where I want it and see if we can get that set up. So that's the plan. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. It's always so much more fun to run errands with you than without you. So as always, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.